are in something called uh, easy pose. So when you're sitting, easy pose is kind of like sitting Indian style. If this is uncomfortable for you, or you have a lot of pressure on your ankles, that tends to hurt, a nice little way to get around that is just put a block under your butt. And it packs you up just a little bit. And suddenly you can get both those legs underneath you. So you can put one or two blocks underneath the six bones of your booty. And it brings you up a little bit. Alright, so we're just going to start. We're going to put our hands on our knees. We're going to take some deep breaths. Just kind of, I call this my stress detox flow. Because we all got enough of it. So <laughs> we're just going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose. We're going to hold it just a hair at the top. And then let it out through the mouth. So in. Hold for a second. And then let it out nice and slow. Inhale for a nice four counts. In, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, and exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold it at the bottom. One, two, inhale. Four counts. Hold for two, and exhale. Nice and slow. Two counts of holding it at the bottom, and then inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two. Exhale. One, two, three, four. I'm going to inhale all the good and relaxation. Hold that for two. Then exhale all the crap from your day. I'm going to inhale and Fully expand that belly and diaphragm. Hold it. One, two, and then as you exhale, let it all out nice and slow. Feel all the tension release out of those shoulders and the neck. Two more cycles. In, two, three, four, and hold. Exhale, two, three, four, and then hold. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Awesome. So now we're going to go into a seated forward fold, where I have to get the up underneath my butt. You can do this the way you're seated, or if you want to stay on the mat, you want to go Lengthwise along the mat. You want to make sure if you're sitting, go ahead and give the booty a little pull so that you have good sit bones contact to the floor. We want to put the legs out however is comfortable. Everybody has a little different hip set, so the idea is just as straight as you get. We're going to start with the legs folded or flexed. We're going to take a nice deep breath and raise the hands up. And now on the exhale, you're going to lean over. Now if you'd like to get a little wider, belly's getting in the way, you can put those legs just a little wider, just not out into like a full straddle stretch. Come up into the breath, and let it out, and roll over. Go ahead and grab either the ankles or grab the feet. And take a deep breath there. And on the exhale, you're going to use the arms just a little bit to pull yourself down just a little more. One more deep inhale in. And then let it out. And just a smidge further at the end. We're going to come up so that we're sitting at a right angle. We're going to take the right leg, and you're going to cross that over the left. Bring that in. Just take a nice deep breath here. And we are going to twist with that. So you want to keep your foot flex on the outstretched leg. Get this bent right about the knee, lower if you need to, whatever works. 
We're going to hold left hand holding the right leg. You have your right hand behind you. And your back as straight as possible. And we're going to turn just to look over that right shoulder. Let it all out on the breath. Go ahead and inhale and turn forward for a second. And then on the exhale, we're going to turn again. Inhale to the front. Every time we turn, just exhale a little smidge more. Like you're bringing out a dishcloth. Inhale to the front. We're going to exhale one more time. I lost track, but I think that's five. <laughs> We're going to come back to the center. Feet straight again. Hands up overhead. And we're just going to do a forward fold as far as is comfortable. Let it out. And pull down. And come back up. We're going to take that left leg, put it over the right leg. Side side is a little derpy for me. You're going to take your left arm, put it behind you so that your back is straightish. And we're going to take a deep breath to the front and let it out on the twist. Deep breath in to the front and twist on the exhale. feet together, sole to sole, and you want to scoot them in as far as is comfortable. So if that's out here, it's out here. If it's there, it's there. If it's all the way up into the groin, whatever is comfortable for you. If you feel better putting a block underneath the buns so it brings you up a little more, that works as well. So we're going to go ahead and bring those feet. You want to put your hands either around the upper toes you can use these two fingers and pull onto the big toes, whatever works. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of turn the feet so that the soles go towards the ceiling. So they're pointing towards the ceiling a little bit. And you'll have the outside edges of the feet touching and the arches kind of opening up like a book, if you can. If you can't, flat together works wonderful too. We're going to have a hold of those toes. You want to give them nice gentle pressure on the toes. Meanwhile, you're stretching your knees towards the ground with your back as straight as, as you can. We're going to take a nice deep breath. And on the exhale, we're going to give those knees a little bounce. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale and exhale. Just 
two more, there's an inhale, and an exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Really take those feet, hold them nice and still. Don't yank hard on them, but firmly bring them up and push the knees down one last time and a nice steady stretch through the hips and the, the uh, thighs. Hmm? <laughs> Look at your feet, see that you haven't had a petty in a while and oh, star, I'm not gonna get in there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was just thinking that. I was like, man. <laughs> nice deep breath, let it all out. Go ahead and release the feet. We're going to come onto hands and knees. Do a cycle of cat cow. So you want to come into a tabletop. Then you will have shoulders over wrists. Nice and square as you can. I don't have mirrors here, so you'll have to kind of guess. But you want hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. So that you feel good and square. Can I get you? That's good. And as long as you're nice and squared up, you won't have extra stress on the, the wrists as badly as you would like if you have them out front or too far to the rear. So nice and squared up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a deep breath and then we're gonna arch our back. Um, sorry, deep breath and we're gonna sway our back into cow. And then you're going to exhale <clears throat> and arch it up to the ceiling into cat. Inhale. We want to really take the head up, drop the midsection of the back, take the sits bones up to the ceiling, and then exhale. <coughs> switch that. I apologize. I sound like a 20-year smoker to me. I had a COVID in October and I've done that ever since. <sighs> Inhale. And then exhale. Really pushing that, that midsection back up to the ceiling. Inhale, drop the midsection, bring the buns up and the head up, drop those shoulders down off your ears. And then we're going to exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. steady on that left hand. We're going to take the right hand and we're going to thread the needle underneath the left, the left arm and you're reaching underneath that arm. If you can put the hand on the floor just outside of your mat, palm down is great. We're just going to give a little stretch. Just breathe nice and even. Go ahead and bring that right hand back. Put it back nice and square and solid underneath your right shoulder. You're going to take the left and you're going to do the same thing. We're going to thread the needle underneath. Anytime you do a twist pose in yoga, they usually say that it is a detoxifying pose. I don't know about all of that, but I know that it feels very good. Deep breath, bring it back up, and then we're going to meet our feet in the back. Put your knees nice and wide. And put your hands out to the front. We're going to come down into child's pose or balasana. This one I remember. And the idea is to, yeah, 
Now, if you're having, you need a little wider knee, that's great, but you want to make sure that you try to keep those feet, at least the big toes, touching. Roll the shoulders down off the ears a little bit. Yeah. See, you guys aren't beginners. You're good at this. <laughs> We're going to take five nice deep breaths to the mat. We just let everything go. Are you guys married? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just going to be like, because I am letting know the dishes still in this thing. <laughs> I have that though. <laughs> the laundry I know they didn't switch. <laughs> nice deep breath. Well, we're going to take that right hand and we're going to thread the needle while we're in child's pose and only go as far as what is comfortable. So if you just reach that hand underneath and kind of lean down, that's great. Don't do it to, the, to any point of pain. But if you can, you can put the right shoulder down to the mat and reach through. Just again, a nice gentle stretch through the torso. Pose. With one on the inhale, take that left arm, put it through just the same, and thread the needle on the knee. Slide it right back into Balasana. Let those shoulders roll back down off the neck. Release the big toe touching. Stretching the buttons towards the heels. And then we're going to go ahead and curl the toes underneath. We're going to come up into a downward facing dog. Downward facing dog has a nice wider set, wider foot set. You don't have to touch the floor. You can have a bent knee. You can have your heels to the floor, your heels not to the floor. However, it works for you. You want to bring that head so that it is between the arms. You really feel the stretch through the hamstrings and the gastrocnemius on the back of the calves. That's where the main stretch is. And then you'll have some stretching for the arms. Nice deep breath. Then we're going to walk those hands back and bring it into a standing forward fold. You might want to walk the feet together just a hair split about this way. Go ahead. You're going to take two fingers and hook them underneath your big toes. And we're going to look up, meanwhile pulling down. Does that make any sense? So you kind of flatten that back a little bit, put a soft bend in the knee, look up, and then on the exhale, relax. Pay attention to how your feet are so they're not rolled out or in. You want them nice and flat. Puts a little bit of extra pressure on those fingers, but that's okay. And then inhale, looking up, and exhale, pull it down. One more. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, pulling down just a little bit, getting that extra tension through the upper shoulders or through the shoulder blades. Nice exhale. Go ahead and bend the knees a little. We're going to come on up. We're going to go into a high lunge. We're going to go ahead and start with the right leg. Super easy. High lunge, just pick it up. Go in front, make sure you've got your balance, which I didn't, now we're going to do now. And we're going to bring it out. Now, you want to have the foot out far enough 
that the knee comes up almost at a 90. So you've got to bring the one behind your back a little bit, that's okay. And then we're going to bring it down, however far is comfortable. So nice stretch here. And then we're going to come up into a pyramid pose. I'm sorry, you just straighten the leg into a pyramid pose. And then we're going to go down. You want to bring the upper body down along the thigh. If you're feeling good and steady, you can put the hands behind your back, you can do a prayer pose behind your back, or if you need the extra balance, you can move them down. More deep breaths here. I'm going to go ahead, come up, and push back into the lunge. The idea is that eventually we get the lunge down here to where we can lay down the knee, but we don't have to do, go that far. We can go just this far. And then go ahead and push up into pyramid and bring that upper body down along the thigh. Nice deep breath. Let it all out. You should really feel the stretch through the hamstrings. You know, my other job is in health care. So this feels great after being on concrete, you know, for 10, 12 hours. We're gonna go back into that lunge. So we're gonna bring the hands up, go back into the lunge. You can get as elaborate with the arms as you want. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna push back into that pyramid and go down the leg. I love that some yoga instructors are so incredibly graceful. I just love that. <laughs> now that we're down here, we're gonna put both hands down. We're gonna put the right hand on the inside of the right leg, and we're gonna try to reach up. The idea is that we're opening up that chest to the back wall here. You wanna go for a nice straight line from arm to arm. If you get it, that's great. If you don't, as close as you can get. Nice deep breath, bring it down. Take a nice deep breath to the leg. You're gonna take the left hand and put it along the inside of your right arch so that you can keep your balance. And we're just gonna twist and reach up to the sky on the other side. If you need a block, use a block, front of your shin, whatever works. We'll go ahead and bring that down. We're going to step back into downward dog. It's a lot of time to head down, I apologize. Nice deep breath. Go ahead and step those feet. We're going to roll it into the forward fold again. Cross those big toes. Look up. Inhale. And on the exhale, pull it up. Inhale up. Exhale, pull yourself down. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Go ahead and put your hands on your shins and your knees. Roll up. And we're going to repeat that lunge and pyramid on the left side. Take a deep breath. Give a second to get the blood flow back to the proper places. A nice step to the front for a lunge. 
We're gonna go ahead and lean it down. Good. And the idea is that you're bringing the upper body and the hips like straight down to the ground. If you need to put your foot on an angle, it becomes more of like a warrior's. However, it is easier for you guys so that you maintain the balance. The idea being that you're getting the stretch through the front of the quad, and then yet you're building back through the hamstring on the left. Nice deep breath. We're gonna lean back, straighten that front leg. Bring the upper body down along the thigh. Take a nice deep breath. If you're feeling steady, put the hands behind your back. and come up, go back into that lunge. Really watch that you're not overextending the knee too far past the toes. Straighten that front leg. Lay the upper body down along the thigh. side of the left arch and you're going to stretch up to the seat. Bring that hand down. Swap places. The right hand along the arch. The left hand reaching up and just twist. And then we're going to go ahead and step back into the downward facing dog. Make sure we're on that. Nice deep breath. Go ahead and set the legs together. We're going to roll up into a forward fold. Bend the knees. Bring it on up. Nice deep breath, hands all the way up. Deep breath, bring them down to the heart center. Take a nice deep breath. You guys made it through and I didn't screw up too much. <laughs> all right, there we go. We're gonna take those hands straight up. 
We're going to go ahead and cheat a little bit. We're going to make like little shotgun hands or Charlie's Angels. We're going to give just a little lean back from the hips. Take a deep breath. Let it all out and come up. Now you're going to take your gun, give your arms straight up, and we're going to lean to the left. Take a deep breath and let it all out. Back to the center. And then to the right. Back to the center. Bring them in about to the heart chakra level, right center chest. We're going to balance a little bit on that left foot. And we're going to bring the foot up. You can, this is tree pose. You can put it, the heel right above the ankle. If you're feeling very balanced, you can put it on the inside of the calf. If you need a block, you can put a block here to help with the balance. If you were next to a wall, you could just put one finger on the wall or something. Sometimes that helps. The idea what we're going for though, is that we're taking that leg out wide, how the rest of us stands nice and still. You don't want to twist the hips, but you want to bring that hip out, or bring that knee out to open up the hip a little bit. So we're just going to take a nice deep breath. Go ahead and put that foot down flat. Nice deep breath here. And then we're going to do that on the other side. Same thing, if you want to just put the heel above the ankle, if you want to use a block, either way you can. The idea being, I don't think my block is by now. The idea being that you open up that hip. So you want to swing that left knee out like, like it's a hinge door. We're just going to take our hands out, nice deep breath, stretch all the way up, and bring it down where we stand here and breathe for just a little bit. So thank you for stretching with me. Thank you. <laughs> Caught me off guard, but that's okay. <laughs>